โอเคหลอสวัสดีครับ Good morning everyone นะครับอ่าสำหรับใครที่เข้ามาแล้วนะครับให้พิมพ์ชื่อนามสกุล ID student นะครับลงไปในไลน์กรุ๊ปเลยครับผมตอนนี้มีสมาชิกทั้งหมดประมาณอ่าสิบห้าคนครับผมไอ้ครั้งนะครับพิมพ์ชื่อนามสกุลนะครับ ID student ลงไปในไลน์กรุ๊ปเลยครับเดี๋ยววันนี้จะทำข้อสอบ listening นะครับรอยข้อให้รอยใครที่พร้อมแล้วนะครับอ่าเขียนข้อลงมาเลยนะครับข้อหนึ่งถึงข้อหนึ่งร้อยนะครับเดี๋ยวเราจะนั่งทำ listening กัน practice test กันไปโอเคอ่าเข้ากันมาบ้างแล้วอ่าเริ่มเรียนเลยแล้วกันนะครับก็คลาสที่9นะครับสวิชกันคลาสที่9ก็เหมือนเดิมครับผมปกติแล้วเนี่ยจะทำ listening นะครับ100ข้อฝึก practice test เลยนะ <coughs> แล้วก็ส่วนที่เหลือเนี่ยก็จะตัดเพื่อทำเช่นทำ reading กับทำ grammar อะไรอย่างเงี้ยนะครับในส่วนของข้อสอบ practice ที่เป็น reading test นะไม่มีอะไรมากครับคือในส่วนของ listening เนี่ยเราจำเป็นต้องให้ความสำคัญพวก short talk หรือว่า talk ในส่วนของ part ที่4นั่นเองเพราะว่าเป็นเรื่องที่ค่อนข้างที่จะยากแล้วก็หลุดได้ค่อนข้างเยอะแต่วิธีการก็คือว่าถ้าเกิดว่าเรายังไม่โอเคกับการฟัง short talk นะครับก็คือแนะนำให้ดู the tape script ก็คือดูตัว subtitle ของมันนะครับโดยโดยวิธีการก็คือว่าไกด์ไปเลยแล้วกันนะครับให้เราฟัง2รอบอันนี้วิธีการนี้เป็นคลิปที่ดีที่สุดนะครับแต่จริงๆแล้วเนี่ยมันขึ้นอยู่ว่าคนเตรียมตัวสอบเนี่ยจะมีเวลาทําถึง2รอบหรือเปล่านะฮะคือคือว่าพอเราฟังรอบแรกเนี่ยให้เราฟังฟังด้วยหูฟังฟังไปเองก่อนนะแล้วก็พอเรารอบที่2เนี่ยเข้าไปดูว่าไอ้เจ้าตัวเทปสคริปต์เนี่ยมันมันว่าอะไรบ้างเพราะส่วนใหญ่แล้วเนี่ยพอเราเราอ่านอย่างเงี้ยมันจะเคลียร์มากกว่าโอเคนะครับอันนี้ก็จะเป็น sample version ของเจ้าตัว talk นะฮะก็คือส่วนใหญ่แล้วเนี่ยมันจะถามในเรื่องของ main idea เป็นหลักแล้วก็ถามเอ่อ info ต่างๆนะครับอย่างเช่นกรณีเนี้ยก็จะมีการถามว่าเอ่อ situation น่าจะเกิดขึ้นอยู่ที่ airport ถูกไหมประมาณนั้นนะครับก็ Flight delay นะส่วนใหญ่เนี่ย situation นี่ก็จะเป็นปัญหาแหละนะฮะ flight delay แล้วเราต้องทำอะไรบ้างสิ่งที่เกิดขึ้นมีอะไรบ้างให้คิดแค่นี้นะก็ประมาณนั้นอย่างตัวนี้ก็เหมือนกันอันนี้คืออาจารย์ดึงมานะครับเพราะว่าเป็นค่อนข้างสำคัญแล้วกันนะครับอันนี้ก็จะเป็นในลักษณะของ situation ที่เกิดขึ้นใน department หรือว่าแบบในบริษัทนั่นเองนะครับว่ามีอะไรเกิดขึ้นบ้างเช่นมีการจัดประชุมเกิดขึ้นสิ่งที่ต้องทำคืออะไรบ้างทำมิ팅อะไรบ้างต้องเอาอะไรมาบ้างต้องเอทเทนคลาสอะไรบ้างอะไรประมาณนี้คือต้องฟังดีๆนะฮะแต่ว่าคอนเซปต์หลักๆก็คือว่าให้เราเดานะฮะเดาว่ามันต้องทำอะไรบ้างอืมโอเคไหมฮะส่วนตัวนี้ก็จะเป็นซิชูเอชันที่เกิดขึ้นเหมือนอ่า Notice หรือ warning something นะฮะ car accident หรือว่าเป็นข่าวอะไรอย่างเงี้ยแต่ส่วนใหญ่ไม่ค่อยมีหรอกข่าวส่วนใหญ่มันจะเป็นลักษณะของ business context นะครับวันนี้ <coughs> อะเพื่อไม่ให้การเสียเวลานะครับทำก็สอบเลยแล้วกัน34 AP ไทยทุกความหมายของชีวิตคุณ listening test In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. 
You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. They're moving some furniture. B. They're entering a meeting room. C. They're sitting at a table. D. They're cleaning the carpet. Statement C, they're sitting at a table, is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one, look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A, he's planting some grass. B, he's painting a fence. C, He's working on a machine. D. He's moving a container. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. She's pushing a shopping cart. B. She's removing her glasses. C. She's putting some bags on a shelf. D. She's looking at some packages. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. The woman is carrying some food. B. The woman is wiping off a table. C. The man is talking to a server. D. The man is picking up some silverware. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. She's holding on to a handrail. B. She's bending down to tie her shoe. C. The entryway is blocked off. D. The stairs are being fixed. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. The curtain has been closed. B. Some photos are displayed on a desk. C. A travel bag has been set on a chair. D. A light is hanging from the ceiling. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. A man is walking along a path. B. An outdoor area is crowded with people. C. A man is removing his jacket and hat. D. A walkway is lined with benches. Home, home, home. Same road cafe sold in song. This cafe blend and brew. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number 7. Number 7. Why were you late for work today? A. It's on my desk. B. Because I got stuck in traffic. C. Later this afternoon. Number 8. Where's your apartment building located? A. Not very often. B. 20 floors. C. On 5th Avenue.
Number nine. Which flavor ice cream would you like? A. Yes, in a bowl. B. I'll take chocolate, please. C. The booth over there. Number 10. Who's going to pick up Pablo from the airport? A. A driver will pick him up at 12. B. They're my favorite airline. C. At the baggage claim. Number 11. Where's the train station? A. I always listen to that radio station. B. An informative training session. C. Right next to the university. Number 12. When will the cleaning products be delivered? A. By truck. B. In two days. C. A manufacturing plant. Number 13. We haven't received the electric bill yet, have we? A. Sure, I'll turn it on. B. No, not yet. C. A credit card. Number 14. How did you enjoy your stay? A. I had a great time. B. About 7.30. C. He left it at work. Number 15. Who won the Employee of the Month Award? A. My dinner was delicious, thanks. B. Just a few minutes after 3 o'clock. C. It still hasn't been announced. Number 16. Do you want me to reserve a ticket for you? A. I can't say that I have. B. A higher ticket price. C. Yes, I'd appreciate that. Number 17. Does your bus stop by the construction site? A. Oh, I'm going by car. B. A new building company. C. Did you go on Tuesday or Thursday? Number 18. There's a discount on this stove, right? A. No, I sell kitchen appliances. B. He's an excellent cook. C. Yes, it's 25% off. Number 19. Could you show me where the electronics department is? A. The show starts at 8 p.m. B. Replace the batteries. C. Sure, follow me. Number 20. What's this shirt made of? A. In Spain, I believe. B. Let me check the label. C. It also comes in blue. Number 21. Will the social media workshop end before 6 p.m.? A. No, the late shift. B. The schedule's online. C. I only read newspapers. Number 22. Which suitcase do you like better, the yellow one or the red one? A. It's an annual conference. B. The yellow one is a good size. C. I should book my flight soon. Number 23. The parking area in front of the warehouse is being closed. A. There's more spaces in the back. B. Here's an extra uniform. C. No, just open the boxes. Number 24. 
These shoes look nice, don't they? A. I think you should try this pair instead. B. The clothing store near my house. C. Yes, it was nice to meet her. Number 25. Let's leave early for our lunch with the clients. A. I still have a lot to do. B. A different menu item. C. No, I haven't met him. Number 26. When will you sell your property? A. There's a sale at the supermarket. B. Yes, we liked it. C. We don't have a real estate agent yet. Number 27. These business cards are attractive. A. Office is open at 9 a.m. B. Yes, the design is professional. C. No, the keys are the same. Number 28. How long does it take to become a plumber? A. It happened last week. B. A price estimate for metal pipes. C. Are you interested in training for that job? Number 29. Don't we have an extra table in the supply closet? A. We're using it for the holiday party. B. Yes, you can close it. C. Maria just ordered more paper. Number 30. Where should I go when I visit New York? A. Every month. B. To the Botanical Gardens. C. $20. Number 31. Has someone booked a room for today's budget meeting? A. I really enjoyed the book. B. Did you turn off the equipment? C. The meeting is tomorrow. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Hello, I have a reservation for a rental truck and I'm here to pick it up. Certainly. Thanks for choosing Canton Rentals. Before you can take the vehicle, you'll just have to fill out a few more things for your rental agreement on this computer. Okay, great. Hmm, I see here you need my confirmation number, but I'm afraid I didn't bring it. That's not a problem. I'll look it up in our database right now. First, could you tell me your last name? Number 32. What is the woman trying to do? Number 33. What did the woman forget to bring? Number 34. What does the man say he will do? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, Ying. Amy's office door is closed, and she asked me to submit a request for some new computer monitors by the end of the day. I have the form here. Can I leave it with you? I can make sure she gets it. She's in the middle of a phone call with a client, and I'm not sure how long she'll be. That'd be great. Thanks. I have to go now to lead a training session. Number 35. Why did the man go to Amy's office?
Number 36. Why is Amy unavailable? Number 37. What will the man most likely do next? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Thank you for calling Margot Publications. How may I help? Hi, I currently subscribe to Business Reporters Weekly, and I'd like to renew it. I saw that you're currently offering 50% off an annual subscription. Oh, I'm very sorry, but that discount only applies to new subscriptions. You could order a different magazine and receive the discount. Would you like to do that? Hmm. Uh, you know, I already get too many magazines, so I'll just renew at the regular rate. Okay. I can still mail you a list of all of our publications. If you change your mind, you can apply the discount to one of those. Number 38. Why is the woman calling? Number 39. Why does the man apologize? Number 40. What does the man say he will do? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hi, June and Raj. I received your message about a problem with one of the machines on the assembly line. What's happening? Well, the bottled cleaning unit is running very slowly. Raj reported the problem to a technician. Right, I did. The technician noticed that not all the nozzles are working, so the cleaning cycle is taking much longer to complete. That is a problem. Let's schedule a time when we can shut down the line for the repair. Number 41. Where do the speakers most likely work? Number 42. According to the men, what is causing a problem? Number 43. What does the woman suggest? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Ms. Yamada, I've analyzed the data from the employee survey. The results show most staff aren't happy with the new open office design. That's surprising. I've read that letting staff work in an open space instead of in individual cubicles promotes collaboration and creativity. Well, the survey results show that the main problem is noise. Employees say they're distracted by people having work conversations in open spaces. Maybe we should send out a memo reminding people about our policy to use meeting rooms for work-related discussions. Good idea. I'll do that right away. Number 44. What are the speakers discussing? Number 45. According to the man, what is the main problem? Number 46. What does the woman suggest doing? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Mr. Alloway, this is Rose Costa. I'm calling about your order of organic strawberries from our farm. Unfortunately, we can only provide 20 pounds for your restaurant this week. Oh, that's too bad. I really needed more than that. We're hosting a large event on Saturday, and I'm serving strawberry tarts for dessert. I understand. Unfortunately, we just don't have that many strawberries this week, but blueberries are coming into season. Could you use those instead? Well, the request came directly from the client. I'll tell you what, then. 
Let me make a few phone calls to the farms around here and see if I can get you some more. That would be great. I can pay extra if necessary. Number 47. What is the woman calling about? Number 48. What does the man imply when he says, The request came directly from the client. Number 49. What does the woman say she will do? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. How was last night's employee award ceremony, Mina? It was nice. I won a prize for selling the most products this year. Congratulations, but I'm not surprised. You always have impressive sales numbers. What was the prize? Tickets to the professional tennis tournament on Sunday. That's wonderful. I know, but I'm leaving for vacation this weekend, so I won't be able to go. Too bad. What are you going to do with the tickets? I was thinking that I would give them away. Would you be interested in going? Number 50. What did the woman win a prize for? Number 51. What will the woman do this weekend? Number 52. What does the woman say she will do with the prize? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Here's your room key. It's 417, just to the right after you get off the elevator. I hope you have a nice day in Centerville. Thanks. I'm in town for a conference, but I have a little free time. This is my first visit here. In that case, I'd highly recommend visiting the Centerville Art Museum. It's famous for its collection of 20th century paintings. Good idea. I really enjoy modern art. I suggest buying your ticket online. That way you'll get a 15% discount. That's good to know. Thank you. Number 53. Where does the conversation most likely take place? Number 54. Why does the man say, This is my first visit here. Number 55. Why does the woman recommend making a purchase on the internet? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Paulina, great news. Remember the website we created for the Lee Dental Office? They were so impressed with our work that they referred us to several potential clients. That is great news. Our business has been going really well lately. We finished five website projects last month alone. You know, since our business is growing faster than we expected, we should find an accountant who can handle our bookkeeping. Hmm. I've heard the Olson accounting firm's good. I'll set up an appointment with them. Are you free on Thursday? In the afternoon, yes. Number 56. Which industry do the speakers most likely work in? Number 57. What does the man recommend? Number 58. What does the woman say she will do? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hi, Carrie. My name's James Fitch, the Personnel Director at Regal Advertising. 
This is my colleague, Sanjay Patel. Nice to meet you, Carrie. Please tell us a little bit about your work background. Well, I've worked extensively in graphic design. Here's my portfolio. Wow, your portfolio is impressive. What would you describe as your specialty? Some of my best work has been on large billboards in cities around the world. You were productive at your last job. Why leave? The work was exciting, but it was only short-term contract work. I've heard that Regal offers full-time positions. That shows me that Regal really values their employees. I appreciate that. Number 59. Why is the woman at Regal Advertising? Number 60. What does the woman say is her specialty? Number 61. What does the woman say she appreciates about Regal? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and schedule. Hi, Jose. It's Lee. Are you at the airport yet? I'm still about 15 minutes away. The traffic is terrible. I'm worried that I'll miss the flight, and the next one's not until tomorrow. Don't worry. I just got here and saw that our flight's been delayed an hour. I'm sure you'll make it. Oh, that's a relief. But can you call the conference organizers? We should let them know that we'll be late for the conference reception tonight. Number 62. What problem does the woman report? Number 63. Look at the graphic. Where are the speakers going? Number 64. What does the woman ask the man to do? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and shelving unit. Alex, look at this storage room. I'm expecting a shipment of our winter clothing line today. So we'll need to make some more room in here. Sure, I can do it after I put these sweaters away. Actually, these three boxes of sweaters are almost empty. What if I just put them together in one box so that we can make space for the delivery? Good suggestion. And when you're done with that, please get the extra display table and take it to the front of the store. Number 65. What problem does the woman mention? Number 66. Look at the graphic. Which shelf will the man work on today? <laughs>